What's up you guys, I want to come back to the channel. Today we're exploring Bengkulu. Selamat pagi semuanya, nama saya Christian Hansen dan selamat datang di YouTube channel saya. I'm currently attempting to be the first person ever to fully document a solo motorcycle trip from Sabang to Merauke. And today, I'm in Bengkulu. But before we explore the city, let's go ahead and check in. Let's go. So guys, I've made it here to Santika Hotel in Bengkulu and I'm so impressed with the room already. It's massive. It's gotta be like 25, 30 square meters. I got a small desk and king size bed. They even gave me like a welcoming cake and a small card from the manager. So I'm already quite impressed with the level of service here. Let's go and explore Bengkulu. Let's do it. Good morning guys. It's another beautiful day here in Indonesia and today I'm going on a little trip. I've been invited by Bengkulu Tourism Information and make sure I'm not missing all of the good attractions here. So uh, let's say hi to the team. Selamat pagi. <laughs> all right guys. Let's explore Bengkulu. So today we're actually a team of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine people. I'm guessing this is the hospitality here in Bengkulu. And I like it. Sama-sama semangat ya. Sharing ya. And here we are, Bung Karno. I'm not sure why it's called Bung Karno, but I'm guessing the guys know. Let's go and check it out. So the entrance price to get in here is only 5,000 rupiah. Uh, not Gocheng, yeah? Gocheng. Yeah, Gocheng, yeah? Makasih ya, Ma. Makasih. Souvenir. Ole ole. Why is it called Bung Karno? Uh, Bung is actually Indonesian old, um, calling for pa. Ah. Right now it's pa, yeah. But it used to be bung. Bung, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I learned something new today. Okay, let's go inside, yeah? Bung Chris. Bung, yeah, bung Chris. Bung Chris. <laughs> uh, mas Chris is okay. Yeah, okay, Mas Chris is okay. <laughs> bung Karno, or Pa Sukarno, he actually moved to this house in 1938. He was exiled here for four years and this is where he met Bu Famawati who became the first lady of Indonesia and we're gonna be seeing her house today as well yeah yes, yes. so I'm gonna be learning a lot of history here today yeah <laughs> fantastic so quiet after watching the film Sukarno on Netflix and reading a lot about him it's such an experience to suddenly be standing in his old office and there's a lot of interesting information about the era hanging on the walls even about Muhammad Hatta the first vice president who was originally from Bukitinggi where I will be visiting in just a few weeks uh, Sukarno is still today a big inspiration for a yes. lot of people yeah the founding father the founding father <laughs> This is a play Monte Carlo, you know Monte Carlo. Ah, the, the Monte Carlo is yeah. what he, uh, the community he founded. Yeah. 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 This Monte Carlo, it was actually a hidden way of Sacarno and his people to plan the independence. But it was shown as a community of making plays. Yeah. Art. Ah, he was a smart guy, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> Good job, Boo. This is Ibu Ingrid. His landlord. Yeah. He ran his uh, a room in his um, in her house, uh -huh. and then they got married. But uh, Ibu Ingrid uh, can't have the children. Have the children. But Sukarno won uh, the trains, right? When they got to Bengkulu, uh -huh. Ibu Ingrid um, kind of like permit her to marry Fatma Fatmawati. Wow. So she That's actually very uh, uh, <laughs> open-minded of her. Yeah. <laughs> But respect. <laughs> so today in Indonesia, it's still allowed to have several wives, yeah? It depends on. <laughs> yeah? Under the permission, maybe yeah. from the but, wife. But not illegal, yeah? But not no. Illegal. Uh, illegal in religion, it's yeah. just legal. Oh, in, Muslim, in Islam, yeah? Yeah, yeah in Islam. Islam. Before Sukarno moved in in 1938, a Chinese businessman had owned the house. Hence, we can still today see the Chinese signs for prosperity and longevity. And I see. Back then, they also watch uh, Netflix, yeah? Diorama. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think this coming later, yeah? <laughs> A 
famous quote by Sokarno goes like this. Give me a thousand old people and I will move Semeru from its roots. Give me ten young people and I will shake the world. I was really interested in young men because that's how the revolution starts. Yeah. From the young yeah. men. During the Second World War, Second yeah. the Japanese came here, right? They came here. And tried yeah. to take control yes. of the farm. Yes. Yeah. They take control here. Yeah. It's incredible how much this country has been to yeah. with the Dutch, yeah. the yeah. British, the Japanese. Actually, Spain, Spanish, Portuguese, Spanish. Yeah, Portuguese, yeah, that's yeah. All. British. British. <laughs> Everybody they wonders. Just, they just love Indonesia. Yeah, yeah. who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Okay. Bye, <laughs> Abu. Okay, so this is the well that can make you not getting old. Wow, it's deep. Yeah, sure it is. Oh my god, gym day today. Yeah, this is how CrossFit started. Yes. And this no, is no, me, wash. yeah? Oh, wash. You don't drink. Wash. And this will make me younger, yeah? Yeah, yeah. let's try on it. I'm washing yeah, my sun cream. <laughs> oh, there is a baby here. Yeah. Oh, I feel 20 years younger. <laughs> Tastes a bit funny. <laughs> I like the idea, but I don't know if it works. <laughs> if it makes me younger, I will come back. Yeah. <laughs> orange. 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 Kalamansi orange. Oh, yeah. Jadi ini asli dari Bengkulu ya? Bengkulu. Yes. Okay. Ini cair. Berapa satu? Two for ten thousand rupiah. Oh, satu saja ya? Nampaknya the taste. Fresh. Oh, it's nice. A little bit sour ya? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, Kalau like bikin foto pilat, bisa juga. Hmm. Mm. Dua puluh ribu. Makasih pak. Saya sudah punya kamera. Yeah. 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 Makasih ya. So now we're going to Fatmawati House. Let's go. You no, know, a lot of the times I'm exploring on my own. But it's actually super fun today to be here with a big team. Even though I kind of hate that they have to wait a lot for me when I'm shooting clips, but they already said they understand and it's no problem. So here we are at Bu Fatmawati's house in Bengkulu, the first first lady of Indonesia. Let's go inside and check it out. So, cool fact about Bu Fatmawati, she's the one that made the first flag of Indonesia. I think this hasn't been used for a long time, yeah? Yeah! Chris, <laughs> before you hear about um, Sukarno and Fatmawati mm -hmm. before, yeah? Yeah, I watched the video called Sukarno. It's nice that there's actually a good film about it so that you can kind of learn about the culture, about the history here of Indonesia. But I also read a lot of books when I came here because if I don't understand the history and the culture of Indonesia, how can I understand the Indonesian people? So if you come to Indonesia, please do your best to learn the culture, try the food, learn the, get to know the people, and preferably learn the language. Imagine how incredible it is to be the one who gets to make yeah. the flag of a country, right? Yeah. This is what I think is so interesting about Indonesia is that it's actually, uh, Indonesia is actually a new country. Yeah. Yes. It has only been a country since the 17th of August, yeah. 45, right? Yeah. So this is Fatmawati? Yeah. yeah. She was. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, she was. All the women around Sukarno is beautiful. Like I mentioned, he was a little bit boy, I'm not yes. yeah? <laughs> This is all original. Original. This I like a lot. Okay. This is it. <laughs> Moving on. All right. All right, guys. It is time to get some food, and I am starving. The guys that want me to try some proper culinary here in Bengkulu, let's go and try it out, yeah? Normally, I don't include a lot of culinary experiences in my videos because I generally believe that having a meal is not the time for using your camera or your phone. But today, I agreed to include it. And I usually eat everything except one thing, fish. So we're gonna be trying various things today. All of it is fish? Yes. 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 This one too? Yes. Okay, okay. Even inside fish, fish. this one is also fish. Okay, so we will have only fish. Oh, I love a fish. <laughs> a lot of but fish. this one is the specialty, yeah? yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try with the ikan. Pala ikan. 
Okay. It is surprisingly good. A little bit spicy, but curry. I like it. Yeah, I like it, yeah. If you eat something that's very spicy, you can take some of this. Cucumber. Cucumber, and what is this? Cassava leaf. Cassava leaf. So normally in Indonesia, it's actually custom to eat with hands, yeah? And I would usually do that, but today, since I'm operating the camera as well, it's not so practical to get sambal on my camera. So, time to try the next one. This one is called bagar asam, which means sour and spicy. Okay. Is it too spicy? Mm. This one I like better than the other one, actually. It's good. They cook this food for like maybe eight until 10 hours now. So a mix of leaf and fish inside. Yes. It looks a little bit like a cake. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, I was not expecting this taste. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, not of us. Like, like, but you don't like, like it? Yeah. yeah. It's very salty and... Herb, herb bees kind of thing. Not, not, yes. not herpes. <laughs> Her, herpes is sexual disease. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, no, I mean herpes. Herpes. <laughs> yeah. I know. Where did I say that? Oh my god. So come to Bengulu and try. Banda. Banda. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So we just quickly dropped off Toranga and now we're gonna go to Churuk. Apa? Churuk Chai. Churuk Chai. Like chai tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chai. Tea. chai. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. In Indonesia, do you know knock knock jokes? What? Ah, what? knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Hawaii. Huh? How are you? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I, no, no, no. I have one for you. <laughs> knock knock. Oh. Who's, Who's there? there? <laughs> Tank. Tank who? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, we were just talking about that I once met Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, bro, what is it that you call Arnold Schwarzenegger here? Arnold Suasana Segar. Arnold Suasana Segar. Okay, we have arrived at Churuk. Chai. Hello. 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 And how far do we have to walk? 50 meters down. Oh, okay. Yeah. 50 meters saja. Okay. Let's go. The thing about Indonesia is that there are so many waterfalls in this country. It's crazy. Which is fantastic, but sometimes it's actually, when looking at a map, quite difficult to decide which waterfall to go to. And honestly, my suggestion is sometimes just go to a random one. That's when you get the best experiences. So, we're going in, yeah? yeah. We're going in. Yeah. Yes. Let's get in the water. Churuk Chai is a perfect little waterfall to visit. It's easy accessible and we only paid around 3,000 rupiah per person for entrance and parking. And the water is rather cold, so it's great to swim if it's a really hot day. But be aware, because going down was a lot easier than going back up. Semangat! <laughs> Wonderful experience to visit Churo Chai here. So now we're gonna head back to, I almost said Jakarta, we're gonna head back to Bengkulu. And then we're gonna visit Fort. How do you say it? Marlboro? Huh? Yes. Marlboro. Marlboro. Like the cigarette. What is this? This is a rubber tree. A so rubber. It, it, this is the extract of the liquid. So and it just runs down the tree like this? Yes. Runs down the tree. They let it for a day. Uh -huh. They will like harvest it. Uh huh. Yeah. So. All this is rubber oh, this, trees. Yeah. Wow, first time I see a rubber tree. There's so many of them, right? Yeah, there's so many. <laughs> cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah. <laughs> let's go back to Bengkulu. Bengkulu, let's go. Okay, guys, we have made it to Fort Marlboro. Yes. 
This was Dutch settlement built by the Dutch, yeah? No, British. British. Oh, British. Yeah. Ah. So the British came here, but they actually trade uh, Bengkulen with Singapore. And so the Dutch um, colonists in Bengkulen and the British went to uh, Singapore. So that's why in Singapore, uh, there is one place that called as Bengkulen. Ah, <laughs> cool. Wow, interesting, learning a lot of history here today. So, but why is it called Penkulen? What? Mm. Penkulen, is it not Penkulu? Penkulen is British name. Maybe... Ah, so Penkulen was spelling, the... Yeah, local spelling changed it into Penkulu. Penkulu. <laughs> but originally the British called it Penkulen. Penkulen, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, you heard it from Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> the resident governor of Bengkulen. This is the grave. Oh, he was killed by Bengkulunis because Bengkulu didn't agree with his um, rules. So he was killed in here. By the people of Bengkulu? By the people, yeah. <laughs> All this we have in front of us right now has been standing since 1770. This dog original. Original as well, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that is so interesting. So right here we have prisoner cells. The fort was built by the British. It was then later traded. And then when the Dutch was uh, defeated by the Japanese during the Second World War, yeah? yeah? Then the Japanese threw the Dutch in the jail cell in their own fort. Yeah. <laughs> This British cannon, Royal Crown, from England here, from here. 1714 sudah ada. Netherlands. This VOC, West East Indian Trading Company. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing marking from the VOC. That is so cool. Not that I think the VOC was cool at all, but the history is super interesting. And here we have the old cannon still standing. And right out there, we have the Indian Ocean. So that is why the fort was placed right here. Because to protect, yeah? yeah. From if people were coming in to the land here to try and take over, they could use the cannons here. And ini dari Belanda, yeah? Belanda, the prince. Ah, we see here, there's the marking. Prince. So guys, that is gonna be it for today. It has been a fantastic day. And if you're wondering what it, this is, I just got this as a gift here from the guys at the Benkulu Tourism Office. It's kind of like a welcoming gift. So I will definitely be bringing this further with me on the trip. Thank you so much, guys, yeah? Stay tuned, guys, because there's gonna be a lot more content coming as I continue to travel towards Sabang for my big trip, Sabang Sampai Marokke. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Benkulu might not be as popular as Krui and Padang, but it's a place that I will never forget. So I spent my last few days editing videos in my hotel room at Santika, and I couldn't have picked a better place. They chose their slogan, hospitality from the heart, for a reason. So on the last morning, I sat down for a nice big breakfast, and I think the hotel made it extra special, as it was my last day, because there was no way I could eat it all. But it sure was wonderful. And they even made my favorite Indonesian dessert, Radar Gulong, a coconut pancake. And if you go to Benkulu and want something different than Indonesian food, I highly recommend Sushi by Sushi. As a former bodybuilder, exercise is key for my mental health. And luckily I found a fantastic gym called Arifin's Gym. The owner there is a former national weightlifter and was the first Indonesian to do competitions abroad. The owner's son, Axel, a young gun who has been studying in the UK, ended up becoming a really good friend of mine. <laughs> Which way, bro? Which way? <laughs> and that's gonna be it for today, guys. Massive shout out to Benkulu Tourism, Santika Hotel, and Arifin's Gym. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one, and until next time.